I can't believe this is about to happen. I feel like I've won an award. So many people have waited so, so long for this. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Match and Planet. I'm Mac, and today we're at Universal Studios Japan for the opening of Super Nintendo World. I'm super excited. This is a preview event, and we're in. As always, the branding is on point. Walking past the coin manhole covers. Just checking our credentials. Whatever's going on here is a three person operation. As you walk in, you've got all of these dates here on the ground. Oh, these are Mario game release dates. Finally culminating in February 2021, the opening of Super Nintendo World. Here we go! <laughs> These pipes greet you at the entrance and provide a fantastic photo op. So first of all, coming here to buy a power-up band. Okay, what design do I want? I feel it's got to be, you know, Mac, Maxion Planet. I mean, it's got to be the Mario M. Oh my goodness, here it is. So my power band is on and we're off. We're warping into Peach's Castle. And here it is. My first look at Super Nintendo World. Every Mario fan's dream right here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You can imagine when I was 10 playing Mario, that one day you would be able to visit somewhere like this. First stop has got to be Mario Kart AR, Koopa's Challenge. And Koopa is Bowser's name in Japanese. A few disclaimers here. Here's the entrance. Okay. okay. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, arigato. This ride took six years to develop, apparently. This is absolutely amazing. This picture is signed by Shigeru Miyamoto the creator of Mario. I think that's what we're fighting for, the Golden Cup. The attention to detail is absolutely incredible. All of those logos are different. They've definitely created a lot to keep you busy during the line. Team Cooper over there. Mario Kart TV is going to be broadcasting your experience. A big race today. And flags here of all the different circuits. Barrels of Bowser oil everywhere. This must be the first time I've never minded queuing in a theme park. <laughs> Teamwork makes Cooper's dream work. Absolutely incredible. Carts through the ages. I 
think nobody's going to complain if they have to line up here. It's absolutely insane. Dental hygiene for chain chomps. A throne for Princess Peach. Loving this section with all the bob -oms. On we go. Some Bowser oil. These Mecca Coopers are super cute. The making of a bomb. Here, let's go. Let's see, Matze. Arigato, Saimas. Well, as the saying goes, if the hat fits, wear it. These video walls are absolutely fantastic. Boo, Team Cooper. Mario, that's us. We're going in soon. Oh, love, love, love these jumpsuits. Look at this. These video walls are really hyping me up. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, then please like this video and subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. It would mean a lot given the effort that editing this will undoubtedly be. Oh, it looks like you aim with your AR headset and then throw using the buttons on the steering wheel. Instructions being dished out here on how to throw items, pick up coins, turn. This is going to be awesome. It really is $580 million well spent. So when you get on the ride, your AR goggles clip into your Mario cap slash helmet, and then it's ready, steady, go. The carts are based off the design for the carts in Mario Kart 8. I can't believe this is about to happen. So many people have waited so, so long for this.
and then unfortunately I have to return my hat. Arigato gozaimasu. First take. I really don't know how to describe that experience. Uh, awesome. Not what I was expecting. Really bizarre. A lot going on. Uh, the graphics are unbelievable. Uh, but regardless, a ton of fun. After the game, you immediately come into the shop. This is Mario Motors, the shop for Mario Kart merch. Here's Bobby and he's going to demonstrate that this block here transforms into a, oh my God, a power up star. Truly incredible. <laughs> the expertise required to come up with this must have been, must have cost them a lot of money. So, so, so many cool details just dotted all over the park, round every corner. There's stuff for the fans. We're at Pit Stop Popcorn to pick up a superstar popcorn bucket for 3,500 yen, cheap at half the price, and the Mario Kart popcorn bucket for 4,500 yen. We've got two flavors, caramel peach and mushroom cream. And that kid there, not sure if the credit card is hers. So this one is a mushroom taste. And this is a caramel peach taste. Okay, caramel peach. And here it is coming up. I feel like I've won an award. I'm kind of <laughs> fantastic. Look at the details on this strap. Absolutely amazing. Hi. And the thing that's got everybody talking about this popcorn bucket is that it lights up. And they give you the popcorn in a separate bag so that your bucket remains in mint condition. Brilliant. Arigato gozaimasu. Everybody's so friendly. They've definitely been drinking the Mario Kool-Aid. Those sugary drinks you can get in the Mario Cafe go to your head. Look at these guys in Mexico, Mexico, kawaii! <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Arigato Saimas. M my M. Just commenting on the Maxim Planet t-shirt. Mario and Maxim Planet, a match made in heaven. This has just lit up after I touched it with my band. Another one. Arigato Zaimas. The whole area is like some kind of Mario fever dream. Some sort of Toad manifesto being espoused here. He's clearly into it. For the capsules you've got different colors and different designs. Thank you. Come on.
a little bit slow for my roller coaster loving tastes, but the view from here is quite delightful. Ho, ho! So here we are on the Yoshi ride. This is very clearly Super Nintendo World's take on Disneyland's It's a Small World. Oh look, there's baby Mario up there. Love the references to all the versions, iterations and generations of Mario. The way these piranha plants have been realized is awesome. Our hands are in the air and we're off the ride. From every angle, this Super Nintendo world is just absolutely fantastic. So here we are in line for the Mario and Luigi meet and greet. Excited? This is your view as you're lining up for the Mario meet and greet. Some patrons have dressed up. Caught in the act. Here they are, finally, the world's most famous plumbers. can't take anything with your own camera beyond this point. Brilliant.
toad in the house. Let's see if we can back in him over toad. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. You can also meet Princess Peach. Okay, do it. A ghostly image of popping up there. You really need to get one of these power bands to enjoy the park in full. After you connect the power band to the app, you're good to go. Collecting stamps for punching blocks, getting certain scores, meeting characters, playing mini games, riding rides, even just visiting the park. It's an integral part of these experiences. 3,200 yen, well spent. There are these three mini games you can do, and once you've done them, then you can go into Bowser Jr.'s castle. Here's one of the mini games. This game is called the Koopa Trooper Power Punch. No pressure, you get three tries and if you don't nail it, you have to get back in line. Oh, Chris nailed it first time. The final mini game. Chris is running around like a headless chicken. Now it's time to head deep into the darkness to battle Bowser Jr. The sign reminding you you have to have the three keys. Result, we have them. If you want to come back into here, you actually have to go back and get the three keys again. My oh my, so much cool stuff around here. Check out all of these portraits and this no Mario sign, love it, painted on here. I think I'm just gonna let you experience the full chaos of this uh, amazing place. Squatting bob -ombs, dodging bullet bills, jumping for power-ups, throwing fireballs. This sounds completely insane. Well, this is pretty physical. Dodging a bullet bill here. Yes, fire flower.
Let's smack some bombs for good measure. Everyone's a hero, according to Princess Peach. Back outside now. You can never have too many coins. This is the Note Block Rock. Heading into the underground level. More insanity going on over here. Nice. A pixelated Goomba. We've just gone through this bizarre tunnel and we've just been shrunk, so we've become Mini Mario. These kids are making light work of this bob -omb game. One more mini game to be had, just for fun. You've got to hit these uh, slot machine style. You've got to stop them. And you get points for various combinations. The rumor is that through here, one day they will expand to Donkey Kong World. I don't know about you, but all of this action has definitely built up an appetite. Here we are coming into Canopio's Cafe. What I've always wanted, some coins. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this menu. Very fancy. Oishi salt. Canopio's hard at work. If you're not in Japan, you probably know this guy is Toad. He's called Canopio in Japan. It's a cross between Kinoko, which means mushroom, and a play on Pinocchio. You've got a lot of different food options and of course everything is themed. Some really imaginative stuff here. Ooh, love the fish bone manier. Ah, Mario's baking cheeseburger. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. With some options for the kids. This super mushroom pizza bowl looks fun. And when you see this red Kinopio icon, or this red toad icon, it means that that's a special. Ooh, the question block tiramisu and some superstar drinks. Here, let's go. What do I want? So I've gone for the Mario bacon cheeseburger and the Hatena question mark block tiramisu. Okay, this is my number. The meaning of life, 42. Arigato gozaimasu. The cast members really do create such an incredible atmosphere. extensive seating area in the restaurant the attention to detail even here on the ceiling is truly remarkable 
check out these graphics at the windows as you look into Canopio's paradise of food. Mario Burger. Hi. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Here's a Mario bacon cheeseburger and here's his brother Luigi's burger. Gonna eat burger fiends like me. Here it is, the moment of truth. Let's see what this tastes like. Looks a lot better than the burger they have at Mel's Diner. Not bad at all. I can see why Mario loves this burger so much. This is the fire flower spaghetti. Looks uh, like fire flower. Here's the Hatena block tiramisu. Just look how cute this thing is. Do you get a different item inside? So this time I've got a star. I'm about to try this Hatena block. All right, let's do this. Creamed, very creamy. And this biscuit, kind of like a biscuit in a way, almost. Very biscuity. And then the combination of the biscuit and cream tastes very much like a cream and a biscuit. Inside you can see the tiramisu-ness of this tiramisu. Oh my God, look at this peach cake. It comes on a silver platter. Dear friends, I poured my heart into this cake I baked for you. I hope you enjoy it. Yours truly, Peach. The Princess Peach cake is very much a cake, a strawberry shortcake, no less. And if you're a fan of that, then I recommend you get it. It's 2,800 yen. At Yoshi Snack Island, you can get these green shell calzone filled with yakisoba and cheese. Some Yoshi's lassies with mango and melon. Yoshi's hot apple tea. Some super mushroom drink bottles. Interesting combo, yakisoba and cheese, but it is absolutely delicious. This is the One Up Factory, the ultimate Mario shop. The merch game is absolutely off the charts. A box of 15 of these tart cookies will set you back 1600 yen. Treat yourself to 40 of these Rice crispy things for 2,500 yen. More crispy treats in a different box and wrapping for 1,800 yen. 30 chocolate pieces here for 2,000 yen. You've got a great mix of modern and retro iterations of Mario. All eras are represented here should really have taken out a new credit card before coming here. Gotta catch them all. Oh no, wait a minute, that's the other one. Fifteen hundred yen, fifteen US dollars. Seems a bit steep for these, but in another, more accurate way, me wanty. Lots and lots of stationery. For the kids in your life? Well, given where we are, that's a relative statement. What else have we got? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this t-shirt. Another fun one with this rather ominous slogan. Catch me, get power. Plushy-tastic. Loving these mugs too. Of course, people want their Super Nintendo World exclusive merch for the Flex, and there is plenty of that around. A lot of Super Nintendo World brand merch is knocking around even at these outside kiosks. Let's have a look through these binoculars. Let's focus them. And there we have an augmented reality version of what the goggles are actually pointing at. Zoom back.
Well, all good things must come to an end. So what was the verdict? I mean, you know, when I was playing Super Mario games when I was younger, I never conceived I'd ever be standing in front of something like this. And it is incredible fun. The Mario Kart is totally insane. Yoshi's Adventure is fun for all the family. All those mini games are super cool. The food, the branding, the merch, everything is on point. And regardless of whether you're a Nintendo fan, a Mario fan, or just somebody who likes having fun, you're gonna enjoy coming here at Universal Studios Japan. Until next time, we continue.